Hi, I'm Tim from Scoop. When Microtech released Rootos version 7, they implemented a peer-to-peer -peer VPN protocol called WireGuard. This allowed users to take advantage of truly secure tunneling with top-notch security and performance. It was a welcome step forward for seasoned Microtech users, but was never really intuitive to those with less experience. In this video, we introduce Microtech's back-to-home feature, the quickest and easiest way for anyone to implement a basic WireGuard tunnel with almost no setup. Before getting started, you'll need to make sure your router is based on ARM, ARM64 or Tylero architecture. Most modern home routers are based on ARM, but you can verify this in the system resources if you have direct access to your router. Next, you'll need to make sure that you're running Rootes version 7.12 or higher, and finally install the Microtech Back to Home app on your mobile device. Microtech's Back to Home app allows you to create all the configuration required as long as you have direct local connectivity to your router. After launching the app, it's as easy as selecting Add Tunnel, input your local IP, followed by your username and password. Now you can create a name for the tunnel, with some optional settings which allow you to use custom DNS and allowed IPs. The app will show you a brief list of changes that will be created on your router, and once we select Create Tunnel, everything is configured. It's now just a matter of switching it on, and we have a secure WireGuard tunnel which can be used from anywhere. The advantage of manual configuration is that it allows you to deploy the back to home service without the client having to be on site. It also means you won't need to expose the router's IP address or username and password. In order for any remote device to communicate back to the router, you'll need to know its public IP address. In a home user scenario, it's rare you'll have a static IP and will have to rely on dynamic DNS to ensure connectivity in case the IP address changes. Microtech users get a free built-in dynamic DNS which is linked to the router's serial number. To use it, you simply need to navigate to IP, then Cloud, and enable it. Next up, we'll need to configure the VPN by going over to the Back to Home VPN tab and enabling the feature. This automatically generates the WireGuard tunnel. It also dynamically adds the necessary configuration for the IP address and firewall entries for end-to-end -end connectivity. When we switch to the Back to Home VPN WireGuard tab, you'll be able to view the client configuration and QR code to easily onboard your mobile device. When we launch the app and add a new tunnel, this time we select Scan QR Code. Once we scan the available code from the router, we can create a name for this connection and start using the newly created service. Besides the ease of configuration, it's far more secure than port forwarding and also doesn't suffer from technical issues related to NAT. Creating a tunnel gives you direct peer connectivity with more throughput and less latency than other types of VPN available in Router OS. WireGuard uses cutting edge encryption and is robust for mobile devices roaming to various networks. Whether you use it for basic remote access or for more intricate scenarios like voice over IP, it's an excellent all round solution. At the time of this video, Microtech's Back to Home is still in early development, and they hinted adding more features to enhance its adoption. It's great to see that Microtech are making something simpler and appealing to a wider audience. Whether you're considering rolling out Microtech as a product, or already have a bunch of supported routers in the field, we hope you'll find some good use for this feature. Let us know what you think in the comments, and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tim from Scoop.